Morning, we're high school. I'm Ellie Cowden. And I'm Kendall Drobish. Here are your announcements for Tuesday, January 10th, brought to you by We're Student Media. Happy National Save the Eagles Day. For lunch, we are having brunch for lunch, a sausage patty and waffle, or a Canadian bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, a hash brown patty, and fresh baby carrots. Happy birthday to Zach Montgomery, Spencer Givens, Katie Zerfley, and Matthew Helmick. We have one more video feature to finish out the semester. Today, Owen Totten features the chili cook-off in Miss Juarez's Block 2 food prep class. My name is Miss Horace. I'm the food prep teacher. Um, today, we are showcasing food prep's chili. Um, they've learned how to use knife skills, food safety, fire safety, all sorts of things. And so they've had to take it and put it into this chili. We're having a chili cook-off. Um, I have an established expert panel of judges consisting of... Chef Kettleborn. Chef Kettleborn. <laughs> Chef Shelley. Oh, Chef Shelley. Chef Smith Sensei. Chef Violet. I am the acute angle. I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and eat it. The judges will judge my class on four categories, taste, nutrition, creativity, and appearance. Biscuit is very good. Biscuit is excellent. Oh, that's delicious, that biscuit. Perfect fluffiness. Mm. Got any more of those? Um, we ate them all. You hate did, them. This didn't come from a box, did it? No, no. Okay. Mmm, those are delicious. They are good. Mm. I do love che like cheese in my chili, though, so I like that it's... Mm -hmm. The cheese is coated in cheese. I'm not really a big bean fan, so this is very good. <laughs> but I have a bean fan. Mm -hmm. See, I really like the sweetness of... Uh, the third one. I, I, I really like the thought. I wish the third one had a little bit more spice, like a little bit more kick. Like, like that's my the third one together. It would have been awesome. But I, I, I'm a bean or meat. See I, yeah. See, I think that's why I like the third one so much. Like I said, it was it was very filling. The yeah, the last one was, one was very good. creative. Yeah, I like that one a lot too. The dessert or the cornbread on that, the mm -hmm. pumpkin cornbread, that was, yeah, that really, was good. really good. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, and then we have to come up with a runner up, right? Two? I'd say two and then. I like the Frida one too. I like that. I think I'd say that was the third one. That was the, that was the that last, was the last, last one. Frito one. Yeah. Last one. I just didn't like the beef as much as I like the ground mm -hmm. beef. I, I just like it's just good. Yeah, but it's just different. Yeah. But the taste yeah. was good. I, it was such a different, different taste. Yeah. I think two good. three has my vote. Two three. Two three. Two for winner. Three for runner up. So I like I like four, even though it had the beef. I agree with the two. But, yeah, they were all good. Because we know two. We have to pick a runner up two. They were all really good. What do you pick? I don't know. Between, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's between a, it's three a and point, four. But, it's no. between three and four. Three and four for me. Yeah. Me too. I, don't know I like four, but that's just me okay. personally. What I'm going I like, to I think I like that. I didn't like the oregano taste. So maybe I just don't like oregano that much. But they had oregano the too. They, but the it was, I felt like it was over. But the oregano had too much. I like the fact that they experimented with things like the cinnamon and then did the yeah, pumpkin they, cornbread. That yes. was an, that was a, I put a very risk. Three, that yeah. was a risk, but yeah, yeah. But I think yeah, it, and it worked. It worked. It worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to okay. Yeah. Sorry, you got kicked out. After deliberating in the hallway, much discussion, I weirdly have to tell you that the two top two that we selected did not have beans. And I'm a bean guy. First place. Kitchen two. <laughs> Runner up, kitchen four. Congratulations, guys. It was all hot. And they were all four delicious. Congratulations to the winning students from kitchen two, which include Josh, Ethan, Jonathan, Brendan, Wellington, and Mason. Thanks for that story, Ellen. In other news, freshmen, if you did not get a form for the Pepperoni Rollers fundraiser, please be sure to get one from the cafeteria. FBLA will hold a meeting today in the cafeteria immediately after school. Final exams are just two days away on Thursday, January 12th. All students who have missed three or more days of school must take exams. If you are exempt from exams, your signed forms are due tomorrow. Friday, January 13th is an exam makeup day only for students with a doctor's note or pre-approved absence. Students must turn in an early dismissal note if they wish to leave before the end of exam day. No early dismissals will be taken over the phone. This Friday, January 13th is the last day to make schedule changes. See a counselor during your lunch to do so. No schedules will be changed after that date. There is no school on Monday, January 16th due to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Second semester begins on Tuesday, January 17th. Next Wednesday, January 18th, is the deadline for sophomores to apply to attend Governor School of the Arts at Marshall University. Visit the link below or see a counselor for more information. Teachers, due to finals week and the semester change, We Are Caffeinated will resume selling coffee the week of January 23rd through the 27th. Order forms will be delivered on Friday, January 20th for the following week. Now for your sports info. Good luck to the sports teams competing this evening. The bowling team hosts East Liverpool at the Holiday Lanes starting at 3.30. And Boys Varsity Basketball hosts Lindsley starting at 6. Finally, your fun fact of the day. You cannot hold your nose and hum at the same time. That's it for today. Have a totally tubular Tuesday, we're...